the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 128 Ecclesiastes 4-7 to A life without God? Wisdom is to admit that the life of humans is finite and to obey and follow the wisdom and absolute sovereignty of infinite God. First point, a way to overcome meaninglessness is to live alongside others. Solomon wrote that a way for humans to overcome meaninglessness even slightly is by living alongside others. Although Solomon wrote that all is meaningless, a way to decrease this meaninglessness is to live together. In order to do this, it is important to meet someone who can walk the same path as us. Solomon provided four reasons as to why two is better than one. The first is because two can work hard together to produce a more effective outcome. The second is because the two can rely on one another and help the other when they fall. The third is because two can recover from grief together and experience happiness together. The fourth is because two can create a stronger impact. Second point, God's people should have three attitudes. Solomon, who dedicated a great deal of wealth to his teachings, left us a strong message. Much dreaming and many words are meaningless. Therefore, fear God. Solomon said that we should have three attitudes. The first was to listen to God. Before Solomon's words, Samuel had said the following to Saul. But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obeying the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed is better than the fat of lambs. The second was to be humble when requesting to God. The third was to be sincere in making an oath and keeping by it. Third point, living without God is meaningless even if you live for a thousand years. No material object can feel the meaninglessness of life. Seeing something with the eye is meaningless. Someone with lots of wealth or honor cannot gain happiness. Someone with lots of children cannot gain happiness or a long life. Someone who is wise cannot gain happiness. Solomon claimed that even if a person was to live for a thousand years, they would not live forever in happiness or get what they desire. Only by believing and obeying in God, one can gain true happiness. First point, an enduring heart is better than an arrogant heart. Solomon made a few comparisons to deliver his teachings. Solomon said that a good name is better than fine perfume. He then said that the day of death is better than the day of birth. Next was that it is better to go to a house of mourning than to go to a house of feasting. Solomon claimed that a wise person realized that it is better to go to a house of mourning than to go to a house of feasting. Solomon furthermore thought that sadness is better than laughter and that it is better to listen to a wise person's rebuke, more so than listening to a song of a foolish person. Solomon continued that the end of something is better than the beginning. It is also better to endure than to have an arrogant heart. Solomon further said that the past is better than the present. Fifth point, 
God gave humans both ups and downs. Solomon said that one should always consider their end whilst living. A wise person admits that human life is finite and that we are God's creation. Wisdom is being humble in front of God, our Creator, and accepting that God governs our life. Consider what God has done. Who can straighten what He has made crooked? When times are good, be happy. But when times are bad, consider this. God has made the one as well as the other. Therefore, no one can discover anything about their future. A person should always consider their downs when they are up and vice versa. God gives us ups and downs so that we can stay humble and content. Upon realizing this, Solomon advised to trust God and to be content. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.